Cool. You ready, Big P? Cool. Hi guys, welcome to Rufio, it's Joe here. Apologies if the camera's a little bit shaky, we're doing this all by handwork. We weren't prepped at all for today. Uh, we've got Big P here, back again. Back again. And uh, what are you showing us today? A different machine deck this time. A different machine deck this got, time. Uh, Orcus. Sure, and uh, this car, uh, well, this deck as a whole is just going absolutely bonkers at the moment. Yep. And is that your impression of it as well? Um, the deck is really good. Strong. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, I've played against it uh, two locals in a row, and I've won one of the three games I've played and it was really, really strong and I opened broken in both of those games. Yeah. So, yeah, definitely strong, definitely potential contender for the format, I think. Uh, yeah, I mean, if so long as mine doesn't get too big because mine is really hard to play into this with this deck. Yeah. Um, but hopefully people don't play it because they think other people are going to play it and it's, uh, mine is just an enigma. Right? It's, it's stupid. Do you think it'll wear off pretty quick? Um, I hope so. But that is the deck that is stronger the less people play it. So yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. Okay, fair enough. Right. right so we won't mess around too much more. So let's get stuck in, shall we? Now, as you can see, I'm playing a fat stack. Uh, I'm playing 57 cards for consistency. Yes. Um, 60 is too many, right? 60 is too many. You know, but I didn't want to go low. <laughs> yeah, I'm playing 57 cards because essentially it waters down garnets, and every card in the deck is pretty much an engine card anyway. So, right, so we're going to go with the Orca stuff. So, three Heart Horror, yep. two Symbol Skeleton, two Nightmare, one Wand. I think that's a pretty undisputed uh, ratio, right? Some people play one Symbol. I think that's wrong. But, yeah, this is pretty much the ratio you play. Um, I, I would potentially play uh, one Bombas um, because it's it's the technically the only Orcus card that is a one-card combo. Yeah. Uh, so long as you have an Orcus in, in hand. But, anyway... Um, yeah, so I mean that that's fairly standard. You don't see anything much different than that. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, I play the dangers. Yep. Splashed out some cash on these. Um, these are standard. I play the Mothman because uh, I was. Because it's a meme. It's a meme. <laughs> yeah, it's also um, the it's the consistency um, danger card essentially. It's the one that filters your deck. Uh, which you, you can also of... ditch stuff from hand, right? That you yeah, want yeah, in brain. Yeah, so, yeah, so it's easy. It, it filters your deck, it filters your hand, whereas the Chubacabra just summons stuff from grave, but you might not have something in grave, so this one is always going to do something. It's also, I played because it's a level four, and I was playing a rank four uh, at the time of making this deck, which I'm pretty sure I'm dropping now because it's just not needed. Yeah. Uh, and there's not enough room. Uh, the dangers, so, dangers, man. They're like, just dangerous. basically upstart goblin, right? With a uh, they, Yeah, essentially with any normal summon, a danger is um, is a combo. Mm -hmm. uh, so they're there to make the interrupted engines more consistent, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, right, so into the engines, because deck plays a lot of them. Uh, so we play Trick Stars. Um, this engine is fantastic. Some people are playing too light stage. I don't think it's needed, um, because you're searching a terraform. Uh, so you've got three copies of this entry in the deck. Um, yeah. And after you've played one, the other one will be, be dead. Um, so this such as this, such as this, and this is a combo. Mm -hmm. um, it locks down back row, and these two out of anti mm -hmm. uh, in game two when people slide it in, because people have to start signing it again. And um, essentially, right, you see light stage or Candina, and you've got the combo, yeah. basically. Yeah, and you don't even have to search Candina. You can just search Corobain and summon it as Cyber Dragon, and then normal summon something else, yeah. and you've got combo. Uh, it's incredibly versatile. For three cards, I wouldn't take it out. Yeah. Um, it's good going first and going second. Would you consider upping that at all in any way, or do you think no, it's perfect no, no, no. as it is? I think as is is just fine. I would consider playing a reincarnation um, for the times where you draw any combination of the two. Yeah. Or terraforming and uh, Babel um, and this, um, just so you got something to search with the Candina, and then you have another disruption that people don't expect. Yep. But, uh, and it's an extra extender in your next turn, mm -hmm. when it goes to your range, but that's uh, a lot of ifs and all buts. Mm -hmm. um, Skyblaster, one card combo, standard, uh, it's at one. Um, I play this. Yeah, I've not seen this before people in the list. People aren't playing this. Um, but I think it's still really good. Uh, you discard a card from your hand uh, as cost, so you, you discard any Orcus cards or any, any of your graveyard effects. Mm -hmm. It's a one card uh, with a discard uh, combo. It adds you instant fusion. Mm -hmm. Instant fusion is broken at the moment. 
um, Thousand Eyes just sucking up a card or just being a link material. So this is like, you play this and you get two extra monsters. Yeah. Um, so. Seems pretty good. It's good. Yeah. Like, like you play this, summon this, add the institution at the very worst. You're also, you're adding the thing to discard for the mermaid. Yeah, that's true. Um, so your card advantage stays neutral. Um, this. Because it's broke. Because and... this guy is the, is the dumb, even though he likes to worm his way into my hand every game. Um, <laughs> Do you know what? You're not the only person I've heard complain about that. <laughs> uh, but for the power level that it is, it's worth it. Uh, the occasional brick. It's like the old Takaton Borg thing. Yeah. yeah like you, like when you, you play Garnets, you expect to draw them sometimes. That's why I've played and playing close to 60 to water it down. It doesn't work. But, <laughs> but it, it's good. Um, yeah, dripping cards out of your opponent's hand. Getting rid of the ash, getting rid of the no material when people start playing it, so on. And they hate you less than if you used Gumbla, right? If Gumbla yeah. was still a thing, anyway. <laughs> and you can rip one or two cards depending if you have an extender. And like, they won't hate you off that. <laughs> it, it's really good. Um, two fat notes. Uh, people are some people are playing two and two. Some people are playing two and one. Nah, one and one. I great. think one and one is fine um, because you don't play more than two fog blade. Uh, so having more is unnecessary. Um, yeah, so like I also keep this is another thing I like, draw in pairs. The nice thing is if you draw it in pair, you normally summon this special summon this and you have combo. I've heard a couple of people well, I've heard it mentioned today specifically about gloves. Ever uh, doing that consideration or no? No? Glo yeah, no, because gloves sends a monster to the graveyard. And you don't want to send them to the graveyard unless you're sending it off Bardish. Yeah. So gloves is uh, I can't remember what its other effect is, but it's not good enough to play. Fair. Um playing three Thanos Dragons because um, this card's fucking lit that's me, why me and Henman somehow ended up with three of them <laughs> and I was like well I'm playing 60 cards so I might as well I'm playing more than 40 cards so I might as well throw it in so I can filter my hand and put Garnet's back <laughs> I guess um, shuffle back that dolphin <laughs> uh, I, I did uh, I did use it to put back the, the Cobra earlier today so I mean it's also a special so an extra special song. so really this and another card combo. going second is combo so it's all about making combo it's literally the theory of the whole deck yeah is it combo um i play three ash yeah um because uh, because i am yeah um some people are not playing hand traps um some people are i mean it doesn't it's not uh I don't know what to say. I can see the argument not to play them because it could yeah. be more extenders, but kind of stopping your opponent playing is also a good feeling. Yeah. I mean, end of the day, it's a normal summon, and a normal summon with a danger is... Combo! Oh, yeah. That's all the monsters. That's <laughs> a, a fat stack of monsters. That's probably 40 cards of monsters. No seconds light. Sad times. <laughs> no seconds light because spells are trapped. Yeah. Um, so, uh, Orcus Babel, one return. Maybe What's your feeling on that? This is good. Mm -hmm. um, drawing cards is good especially when you can summon cards back for free mm -hmm. uh, especially when you summon back a Dingirsu and then you want to, set, want to put, back, put him back in the grave after your battle phase mm -hmm. for popping cards in your opponent's turn so yep. then you put it back in the, in the grave and draw two cards feels good man yeah and Babel is <laughs> great <laughs> it's done it's done um, so I played three instant fusion this is uh, also broken yeah Cobra targets also broken it's extender it's a summon it's combo uh, terraforming because we play field spells. Yep. Uh, so if you draw the, it's really nice because if you draw the um, light stage, you search the Babel, yep. which allows you to set a different card of Galatea. Do you run? The... Oh well, we'll see in a minute. I won't. I won't ask. <laughs> uh, I play three for Twisters because yep. um, you have to play some kind of. There's so much back row at the moment. Back row and mine. Yeah, mine in particular. <laughs> you have to play this. It's stupid. I don't. You don't want to play it, but you have to. Mm -hmm. The very worst, it discards a card. Uh, you might need to discard to make combo. Yeah. Um, this because this stops people interrupting your combo. Yeah. It's also, good anyway. Like all the time. Yeah. Also, generally, like banishing your opponent's Orcus cards and the mirror is pretty nice, even though it locks you out. The same effect. But anyway, um, searches um, Neo Space also searches Phantom Knights. Mm -hmm. Don't forget that. Uh, Foolish Burial, your cards do stuff in the grave. Yep, makes sense. Um, I play Crescendo. That's the one That's we were going to ask gonna about. Talk about. I think this card is not as good as it was hyped up to be. Um, I think it's better, you know, like, not that it was necessarily hyped. You almost never play the get 
set this up on the first turn because you, it requires a Orcus Link monster to activate it. Yeah. And if you're having leaving an Orcus Link monster on the field, it means you're not usually means you're not summoning the Dingu suing your opponent's turn. So bot. So you don't get to pop two cards and well pop and send a card. Um, so negating and banishing is really nice, but is it as good as uh, removing two cards? It depends on the matchup, but yeah. rarely make this blind first turn. You would play it blind for you make it first turn when you don't. It gives you, you an option though, but. and in a, in a well near sixty. Yeah, and if you draw it, it's nice. Um, yeah, and it's also a rotor, uh, so that's always good. Yep. Um, play two fog blade, and I also play the shade brigadine. Mm -hmm. I've heard mixes on this as well. Um, well the fog blade is standard. You it's, pick two. it's the brigadine more. The brigadine so. um, I mainly play because I was messing around with the rank four. Um, but it is also uh, another monster. Another. <laughs> it is, yeah. If you draw it, it, it does make combo. Like well, that's a meme now, but <laughs> <laughs> literally it, is the theory. It's true. It, it is a monster, and if you can discard a Phantom Knight, you can search it. So yeah, yeah. It's it's a card. It's an extender. It's not awful. Mm -hmm. Maybe cut it. Uh, no, I'm not playing rank four. Cool. So that's the main deck. So that's fifty seven cards for consistency, mind you. Mm -hmm. Uh, extra deck Galatea yep. I play 2 um, I think 2 is enough uh, I haven't ever needed 3 um, I hear you need 3 in the grind game in the mirror I can understand that but uh, the extra deck is kind of tight um, play 1 Monk Boy because people play it I don't really know why but it's it out sings it's nice to um, to return your cards to the deck to put your engine back um, and then go again. because it sends two yeah um, yeah so, uh, but sending a linked card is tricky because arrows are a bit awkward sometimes mm -hmm. uh, I guess it means it's mainly for if your opponent already has a set board with linked cards yeah but um, he's essentially, he essentially plays the role of a third Galatea in most cases yeah um, yeah He's okay. Um, Buddish, because this card is the best card in the deck. It's great. Like, without this card, then I don't think this deck would be nearly, nearly as strong as it is. Mm -hmm. um, and then we play the Nightmare, so obviously Mermaid, Unicorn, Cerberus, Phoenix. This is inter another thing I keep hearing about. And again, yeah. I'm going to pick your brains while you're on camera, so. just so I can hear justification. Second Mermaid. Um, there are debate. There are, there, there are arguments for it. Um... Realistically, you should only ever need one mermaid to get into your engine. Yeah. Um, I mean, to play another mermaid, you means you have to play your, make your other uh, nightmare. Which yep. means you don't get your other nightmare for utility, but for the engine. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, there are arguments for it. I don't think it's necessary. I think so long as you're playing to make sure that your one mermaid resolves, which you should always be. Playing, you should be baiting out negates, before. or you should be ripping cards out of your opponent's hand before looking at your opponent's hand with dolphin, um, before you just blind make it. Yeah. So you've got make you make it, but you make it carefully enough that you can resolve it. Yeah, makes and sense. And if, if you know you can't resolve it, then you just don't make it. Yeah, you just you make Galatea before, like you make sure that you yeah make Galatea without something the guy from deck. Yeah, you just play. I have to play a bit suboptimally. And then use it next turn to make an OTK or something. So. Yeah, makes sense. Um, a few more Link Monsters. Uh, Borough Sword, because it's an OTK card. Yeah. Triple Burst, because uh, yep. it's a Link 3 with a sideways arrow that's a dark, I guess. Mm. It, it's good against Striker. Um, it's not an awful card. And if it stays on the field, it can summon that Galatea. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, Play two Dinglings, Dingirsus. Two correct. Um, I had a I'd urge to play a third earlier today. I was like, man, I really wish I had the third Dingirsu. Interesting. Because I've uh, spunked my engine away, um, <laughs> removing cards rather than looping Dingirsu. Yeah. Um, so I feel like if you want if you want to play a very aggressive match, three would be better. Yeah. Um, but. Yeah, I think two is standard. Two is certainly the minimum that you would play. Okay. You'd never play one because you always want the second one to be to come out of your extra deck. 
Makes sense. Uh, because, yeah, because you want to bring back Galatea to use their effect to set a card and then play a guy on top. Yeah. Then you bring it back in your opponent's turn. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. So, two of that. Um, two instant fusion targets. Yep. Uh, this is going to become another Thousand Eyes, I believe, because um, I'm not playing the rank four. Yeah. Um, and Thousand Eyes is just better. Yeah. So, the rank four I was playing was Evil Swarm Nightmare, um, because... Having two Book of Moons is really strong. Yeah. But um, setting up the play is a lot harder without Summon Sorceress now. And I've been trying. I really want. I really wanted it to work, but I've decided that it really just doesn't because you don't play enough spammable level fours. Really. That's what you, locals is for, man. Finding this stuff out. You have to either see the Shade Brigadine, which means you lose that on a Fog Blade, or you have to hard draw the nightmare and discard it yeah um no, no you have to hard draw the harp horror and discard it for the mermaid so that you can send wand with nightmare right so you can summon back the harp horror and institution for this so, okay yeah anyways yeah I, th- I want nightmare to be good um but they banned summon sorceress so sometimes so instead of the nightmare from now on we're going to be playing this yeah, um, I got this theorized to me earlier as well, and it actually sounds pretty good. Yeah, I forgot. I thought I was like, "Oh man, this card is terrible," but I realized there's a lot, so many times where I just end up with two level threes on my board. I'm like, I wish I had something to make, and then I re- then playing uh, just now in the mirror, the other guy was playing it. He yeah. pointed out the fact that it pops itself and then brings back two guys, and I was like. Oh yeah, <laughs> it does do that, doesn't it? Um, <laughs> and then you link away those guys. Um, also, you bring it back with Fog Blade to pop a card of Brigadine. Yeah. So, yeah, this card is actually good. That's um, a good feeling. Yeah. So that's the main deck. My side deck is. We won't go talk about it too much. No, we'll just fly but, through this uh, one. DD Crow, it's quite strong at the moment. Uh, there should be three seconds. Card is great. Um, Imperial Order. Yep. Um, I, I forgot that I wasn't playing Mud Dragon anymore. <laughs> uh, uh, three anti spell. This is really good. Yep. Because um, I actually ended up playing against Pendulum for the first time in forever. And, and then you win. I played this. And I was like, ah. I get to live for a little bit longer. And Prank Trops is the strongest side guard. Spot side card in the format. Fair enough. Cool. Cool. Is that everything? I believe that is everything. Have you got any more questions? I don't. I think we covered it fairly thoroughly. Yeah. We'll go with that. Any shout-outs before we go? Uh, shout-outs to Mark Manescrew. Yeah, boy. Obviously, as always, provides us the place to film these, provides us the place to play games, gives us broken price support sometimes. Sometimes. I mean, I called it Cherubino and LTH. It's pretty so. broken. <laughs> pretty broken. <laughs> yeah. And uh, if any of you guys do follow me on Facebook at all, which if you don't, I urge you to. I will spam you with video links, which is always good. You're supposed to lit dank memes. Dank memes that I make myself. I'm not, I don't steal them. No free content for me. Steals memes, not this guy. Not me. No, all original, 100%. Yeah. Subscribe, like, that, smash that like button. That's hit it. that bell. We'll also have a link for Pibster Pew Pew over here for his yeah. dead channel. Make him feel good. Ding, ding, that bell. Ding, ding, that bell. That's it. Notifications on, guys. Uh, well, thank you very much for checking in. Thank you, Big P, for no checking in with us. Not an ABC deck. Brother. Not an ABC deck, which is nice. And uh, hopefully you don't face anyone who sides in 15 cards for you the next time. Yeah. Yeah, me too. <laughs> just here. Cool. Thank you very much for checking in, guys. And I will see you in the next one. I'm afraid that's all we have time for in this video. If by chance you haven't had enough of listening to me waffle at you through a video about a children's card game, you can follow me on Facebook and Twitter. The links are on the screen, or if you're feeling really lazy, you can click the links in the description. While you're at it, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future content too. It'll make me smile, I promise. And who can ask for more than that? Thanks for watching, see you in the next one.